Hi, I'm Lauren E. Miller, founder of StressSolutionsUniversity.com. I'm going to be teaching you a little technique today to help you when you feel stuck with your behaviors. And by that I mean that your behaviors do not align with your desired outcome. You have a desired outcome, a desired goal, let's say within 30 days that, you're, that you want to accomplish it, your behaviors work against you. They're not, they're not aligned with moving you forward towards your goal. You feel stuck. This technique is called the new generator, new behavior generator technique. It's a neurolinguistic programming technique that's very, very powerful in terms of shifting your behavior and resurrecting the aspects of yourself that benefit you moving forward. We're pulling from the behavioral mode here. There's actually, there's actually six logical levels for personal excellence and moving forward in life, whether it be spiritually, emotionally, and physically. There's six different elements. We're, we're specifically focusing on the behavioral element here. This is when your behavior does not support what you want in life. Henceforth the name, New Behavior Generator. So, you are, you are generating new behavior. The way that you do this is that you close your eyes, take a deep breath, and you sink into your body. So you connect with the gift of your body that God has given you. And you're going to be using the gift of your imagination here. So as you close your eyes, I want you to imagine that you're sitting in a movie theater. You have that experience, so you should be able to visualize it and use the gift of your imagination to resurrect that image before you. I want you to imagine that you're sitting in this movie theater, and on the screen, I'd like you to choose one person that you admire. Somebody that you have seen in life, or perhaps a mentor in life, that you were drawn to. And also, choose somebody that does move forward easily, that you see them setting goals in life and you've seen them accomplishing the goals, that they're very um, clear-minded and they have a clear understanding of what they want and they have accurate response and they go for what they want. Pick that one person. I want you to imagine them up on that movie theater screen. Again, the subconscious mind does not know the difference between real and imaginary. So that's why neurolinguistic program, programming, one way to access a, uh, sensory acuity, which is essential for those shifts below the conscious level, it's essential to engage your senses. So that's why we use the gift of your imagination to do that. So as you're sitting in this movie theater, you imagine this person that you admire up on the screen. So you see this person that you admire. What I'd like you to do is tune in to observing specifics. What does their body language look like? What does their intonation sound like? I want you to really drop into visually observing all those aspects you admire and you want to see more in your life. So once you bring all of the, that awareness to a peak, I want you to freeze the movie screen that you've set of this person. And I want you to imagine crawling up out of your chair. This is my little movie theater picture of you sitting in the movie theater, and here's the screen. This is your person that you admire, that you want to see more attributes. I want you to imagine cutting out around that person, and just the screen falls back, and you just crawl into that image. So you crawl up into the movie screen, using your imagination, of course, and you basically superimpose yourself into that, that cookie-cutted uh, image of the person that you admire into that uh, experience of that person. Once you are in that spot, I want you to feel what it would feel like to have those attributes, to have that confidence, to have that uh, laser focus. Clarity of focus leads to accuracy of response every time. So imagine what you would feel like in that space of having that clear focus and perhaps letting go of those behaviors like procrastination, fragmentation, getting too much on your plate where you don't stay on task in order to move forward and accomplish your goals. So imagine you focused. Imagine you soaking in those attributes of that person that you admire, that you want to see more in your life, that you feel would be beneficial to help you move forward in your goal. Imagine what it would feel like. What would it sound like? What would your intonation sound like if you were very focused? In the next 24 hours, this is the behavior that I'm going to take in order to move forward in my goal, my 30-day goal. 
in the next 24 hours. This is the behavior that I'm going to do in order to ensure taking a step forward toward my goal in 30 days. So you're chunking it down as well as resurrecting those attributes you admire in someone else and connecting to them. So after you have gotten the height of experiencing it, in the midst of, of your visualization, just pat your chest and just say, laser focus. Or choose two words as a reminder phrase of you absorbing those positive attributes or practicing those positive attributes that you admire in another human being. Just have a reminder phrase. Focused, energized, goal-oriented, laser focus, accuracy of response, whatever it is, just pat your chest. Any time in life you can engage your sensory acuity, what it feels like, looks like, sounds like, and then you anchor it into your body. This is an NLP anchor. All you have to do to get you back to this memory that, oh, that's right, I can be laser focused. You just pat your chest and say your reminder phrase and it can take you back to generate new behavioral patterns. You remember, oh, I took the time to remember this is what I want my behavior to look like. And then you can use it anytime you want. So enjoy practicing. God bless.